and let's say I make Donald female. So this is the female version of Donald Trump according to my algorithm. Hi, I'm Karen Sim. I'm an associate professor at the School of Computing, NUS. Uh, I do a bunch of research, uh, mostly having to do with image processing and computer vision. Uh, so for example, I can analyze a face uh, for face recognition. I can transfer makeup to your face uh, and so on. I also do some work in computational photography, such as enhancing uh, the, ca the, the images that you take from your smartphones or from your cameras. Some people tend to like lose weight or like you know to pick their eyebrows and stuff like that. So how does these like changes actually affect like facial recognition? Absolutely, yeah. it can it can actually foil your face recognition, right? Yeah. As you said, makeup is one thing. Whether you reshape your eyebrow or you put on heavy makeup, and for men, if you grow a beard or moustache, that could already uh, cause you to be misrecognized. Yeah. Um. So the algorithms have to improve. Mm. Uh, that's where one of my previous work uh, where we talk about using motion, the way you move, that's more robust to makeup, that's mm. more robust to you know facial hair. All these all commercial face recognition systems work on static image. Mm. They take a still photo of you and they try to recognize mm. you. Uh, here we do, we complement it yeah. using a video. Mm. So we get you to, for instance, to smile. Mm. And just based on how you smile, we can also recognize you. So this is another part of your research? Correct. Okay, which okay. is face recognition, facial analysis. Mm. And we found that it's good for identical twins. We recorded their movement yeah. and we ran our algorithm. We found that we can recognize identical twins. twins. Yeah. Even when normal face recognition cannot. Oh, so yeah. this can be used in schools, can be used in prisons. <laughs> it can be used anywhere. It can yeah. use as a complement mm. to other face recognition system, right? So, uh, in terms of uh, commercial potential, I do have a few things that I'm looking for someone to run with it. Uh, so, for example, uh, I have the ability to analyze uh, a woman's face and recommend suitable makeup for her uh, based on her face shape and her skin tone. Uh, so that, that would be something that uh, could be a useful app or, or a software uh, that could be commercialized. The other one could be uh, makeup compliance. So imagine that you are of uh, uh, Singapore Airlines and you, you're a flight stewardess and you want to check whether you comply with uh, the company regulations in terms of your hairstyle and the makeup that you have. The flight stewardess can just take a picture, uh, like a selfie, and the app will quickly say, oh, your hair is great, your makeup is great or not so great. These are the areas where you need to make uh, changes to. So that could be a makeup compliance app that I'm looking for someone to commercialize. Please contact me. Uh, my name is Terence Sim. You can do a Google search and you would land on me. Or you can just send email to terence.sim at nus.edu.sg. That would reach me. Thank you.